Hello. So in this video, you're going to learn how to um, wrap text around images in Microsoft Word as well as placing an image with precision and also um, having border, how to add border around an image in Microsoft Word. Okay. So the question says, open the file task 12B, ensure that the text wraps around both of the images you placed in um, task 12B. Save the file as task 12D. Okay, so I'm going to locate my. Uh, let me just be sure of the question again. <laughs> I'm going to locate okay, task 12B. So let me locate task 12B in my work folder. Yeah. Okay, so this is the game. So first of all, before I do anything, I will save it as task 12D. Task 12D. Task 12D. I think I will have to set up to use this convention, not leaving space in between from now on. Okay, so task 12D, I'll save that right there. So the next one thing I'm going to do to have the text around this image. So I've already placed this image to the right, right? So one thing I'm going to do to, um, you know, make this image, uh, maybe the text to wrap around. I'm going to, so once you click this image, image you're going to see this. So you click on it. And then of course, if you hover over each of these um, uh, layouts or wraps, you're going to see the name of each of them. You can also get them from here. If you click on the image from picture formats, you can get them from wrap here. Or you can actually right click and then you can also get uh, the wrap text you know, options from here. Okay, so um, I'm just going to use uh, this. So let me just use this and then use tight. Okay, always use tight. Uh, another thing I can do also is to let me, uh, no, let me just do different size so I don't have to distort the image. Let me just uh, reduce the little slightly. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to use the position tool. Let me just um, size and position. Use position. So I want to align this to the right. I want to align it to the right. And then minus the margin, and then of course align here to the top, and then of course minding the lines this time around. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna okay that. So that that wraps the test around the image. Okay. So I think that's that for this one. So the next one I'm going to look at is um, the snowman. So even though it's not stated in question, but um, this snowman is supposed to be, let me just uh, have it as square, and then be able to move it. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Let me place it right here. Okay, it's supposed to be somewhere around here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push down the table a little further, okay, to be able to that you're able to contain here. So I think the table should go down a little bit. Yeah, so that's it. So now I'm gonna place it here. Uh, right click on it, go to position again. What I need is position. So the, from this layout, I'm gonna have it to, um, align to the okay, left, of course, relative to the margin, all right, and then uh, here it has to be also um, aligned to the top relative to the line. Okay, so I'm going to have line here, and uh, of course, save that as you can see to adjust itself. All right, so let me just get this guy a little, a little further. So as you can see here, down here, also the text has moved to this side for this picture. 
So let me be sure. Let me be sure I remember what I have in here. Uh, position top, yeah. Okay. To line, yeah. Right to, ma to margin there. That's what I need from there. Okay. So the next thing is to so for this image now, I want to put a border around this image because as you can see, it looks a little odd. So I want to put a border on this image. All right. So what I'm going to do is simply to right click. Then go to format image, sorry, format picture. And then from there, I'm going to click on this bucket here. So on the line, I'm going to take solid, solid, solid line. So from here, you can actually choose the thickness of the line. So I like one point, so I'm going to use one point. So which color? I like black, solid black. So um, as you can see, by the time you click elsewhere, you're going to see that the image has got a line around it. So that, that will make it to stand out in the document. All right. So um, let's see. Did I answer the question? Let me see the rest of the question. So both of the images you place and ensure that the, the text wrap around the image. So, so I think that's about So that's how you can actually adjust, you know, the text to wrap around the uh, images. Okay, so that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.